Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, and today it's Mother's Day, or it's rather the day before Mother's Day, and I'm going to show you a bunch of different things growing in my garden that are really great for cut flower arranging, and especially for today, making a really nice bouquet for the mom, the wife, the grandmother, different kinds of cool flower ideas that you can use to make these really beautiful bouquets. I am very, very lucky in that my mom is still with me and she is the inspiration for my love of gardening back when I was little she would drag me to all these cool gardening shows and teach me all about growing some really great plants so I love putting all these flowers together to make a really cool arrangement for her so let's kind of take a quick little tour of some of the things that are in my garden as you've seen in earlier videos this year I obviously have some really nice roses I have about 30 roses in my little raised garden there in the front but I also have a lot of other plants the uh, rose scented geraniums the butterfly bushes um, the gladiolas are starting to bloom now so it's kind of a perfect timing my glads generally start blooming right around Mother's Day so it's a really kind of fortuitous timing because obviously those are great for flower arranging as well but also things like butterfly bushes so we're gonna take a little quick stroll through all these plants as I make them and there is a list in the video description of all the plants you're going to see in this video so if you're thinking about what to add for your garden for next year's Mother's Dew bouquet here are some great ideas anyway enjoy Doug the flower arranger now he's going to take over so let me show you what I've harvested for this bouquet so first we have some lovely dahlias. These guys have never stopped blooming since last winter. And then we have the purple butterfly bush. This is hot buzz, really fun color. And of course, rose scented geranium, a great filler for every floral arrangement I do. It is blooming this time of year, but the foliage is so fragrant and it's a great filler for these flower arrangings. And this is cooking sage. Now cooking sage is not just for cooking. In springtime it also has these wonderful little pink flowers. So it's also a great plant for using in floral arrangements because you have the flowers and you have the wonderfully fragrant foliage. Oh, I forgot to mention in this bouquet I have some red kangaroo paws. These are a great cut flower, a great hummingbird plant very drought tolerant so this is red kangaroo paw and this of course you'll recognize is Mexican bush sage one of my favorite plants out there great hummingbird plant also a good cut flower plant this is actually a vase that used to belong to my grandmother when she passed away it was given to me I cherish it always this is a wonderful little vase from my grandmother that she always used to put flowers in that her husband would give her. My grandpa was a wonderful gardener as well. All right, and then we have a nice little collection of roses. I'm gonna clean these up and tidy these up. Various roses from my garden. It's uh, you know mid-May, the roses are almost done blooming, but there's still a few wonderful ones that really make the arrangement pop. This year, my white licorice is just gone crazy. This is a Floribunda rose called white licorice. It is blooming like crazy with all these wonderful Floribunda sprays. This is what a Floribunda does well. It produces a massive spray and they're just starting to open up. These will look really spectacular for the next couple of days in the, the arrangement. And of course, the red gladiolas. Every year on Mother's Day week, these explode in my garden. I have about five different colors of gladiolas, but the reds are the ones that always bloom on Mother's Day. Well, those are all the flowers. Now it's time for me to actually put an arrange, two arrangements together and make it look fabulous. 
All right, I am done with all the flower arranging, and admittedly, I am not the best flower arranger in the world, but that's not really the point. The point is to give my mom a beautiful bouquet of flowers that I grew in my garden to show that I was paying attention all those years ago when she was teaching me how to grow beautiful things. So this is the arrangement that I made for my mom with the dahlias and roses and gladiolas, kangaroo paws, some geranium, some Mexican bush sage, and some other really wonderful filler type plants. And this is the one I made for my wife. It has all the various red roses, white roses, pink roses, and some gladiolas, sages, and geraniums. So these are my two Mother's Day bouquets I made from all the cut flowers in my garden. I can't wait.